What made me go for a career in the food industry was um, the size and scope um, of, of the industry itself. Um, having some experience in it, I knew that the pace um, would offer something different. And there's something quite appealing to me about having tangible products uh, that you see and can feel. In my role as Senior HR Officer, um, I am responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the um, HR uh, team here, um, working on a site of about 800 um, employees. I also act as an engagement champion, working with our employee forum on site and our trade union, along with the um, site leadership to deliver um, engagement plans to ensure we've got a collaborative, inclusive culture. A typical challenge uh, for me in my role, whilst HR is, uh, can be fun and, and positive, the reality is that you will need to have difficult conversations for a variety of reasons and essentially this is telling someone something that they don't want to hear. It might sound easy but uh, in reality that, that's quite a difficult, uh, difficult thing to do. So how I've overcome that is pretty much building up my own style by learning um, through practice and kind of reflecting um, on how things have been delivered. The most important skills for HR professionals, I feel, um, and I'll break this down into three areas. The first, I feel, would be um, having an analytical and problem-solving mindset. Yes, there are rules and procedures um, in HR and the way in which you do things, but they don't always give you the answer, and you need to be flexible and analytical with how you deal with those. The second would be to have an emotionally uh, astute judgment. You need to really act as a conscience for the business and have that resilience to challenge um, decision-making. The third would be a collaboration. You won't deliver a HR agenda on your own. You really need to work with all of your stakeholders and the managers to deliver um, what you want to achieve. The advice I'd give to young people to build their network is to be inquisitive and curious. Really put yourself outside of your comfort zone. Put yourself in forums or groups um, where you're going to meet and interact with new people. However, when you're going to those events, make sure you have an objective, even if it's to come away with two contacts. That's what's going to really hold you instead in the long run. I would recommend the food industry because it's a diverse place, it's competitive and you can make a real impact.